Imagine that you spent months and months doing courses and learning about data analytics with all the different tools required for the job. You apply to so many companies that when a recruiter calls you back, you don't even remember how they got your number. You went through many rounds of interviews and eventually you made it. You got your dream job as a data analyst. And you might ask yourself, so what? Well, now also imagine that you start working as a data analyst and after a few weeks, you realize that now that you made it, the job that you dreamt for for ages is actually not as good as you thought it would be. Pretty frustrating, huh? Well, in this video, I will share with you some knowledge that I gained from the inside and the aspects that truly surprised me when I started my career as a data analyst so that I can warn you in advance instead of you discovering these little ugly things yourself on the field. So without further ado, let's start with the first one the importance of Excel. When I first began my journey into data analytics, my primary focus was dedicated to mastering the fundamentals of Python, SQL, and Tableau. However, as I continue to explore the field and interact with a diverse group of professionals, I have come to realize that despite the popularity and usefulness of these tools, there are other programs that are equally essential to the data analytics process. And one such program is the old but gold Microsoft Excel. While it may not be as sexy as Python, SQL and Tableau, it is the most widely used tool in the industry and has proven to be a valuable asset for both technical and non-technical individuals alike. If other people in the company work and are familiar with Excel, you have no choice but adapt and also deal with your stakeholders using Excel. This, for example, means that you might create an efficient uh, SQL script or Tableau dashboard, but maybe your client is just interested to get a clean Excel file from you with the information they required. Next up is working with messy data. When I first began my journey to learn data analytics, I was under the impression that all the data sets I would be working with would be kind of clean and easy to read. And this is mainly because while you learn, those are the type of data sets that are provided within online courses. However, I soon discovered that this was far from the truth. In reality, most data sets are messy and require a lot of cleaning before any useful insights can be drawn from them. This means that as a data analyst, you need to be prepared to work with data that has duplicate values, blanks, or even incorrect information that needs to be corrected before any analysis can begin. In fact, working with messy datasets can be a great opportunity for you to develop your skills as a data analyst. It requires you to be creative and think outside the box in order to find solutions to the problems that arise. For example, you may need to use advanced techniques such as data imputation or machine learning to fill in missing values or correct errors in the data. And also, you may need to develop custom scripts or code in order to automate the cleaning process and save time. Overall, while working with messy data sets can be challenging, it is also an essential skill for any data analyst to have. Getting the data. I initially thought the role of a data analyst will start after receiving a data set from the client. Well, the reality is that you as a data analyst will need to spend hours and hours of meetings with clients or other stakeholders to actually get the right access or the right data from different sources. And the most fun part is that maybe the data you need is not available and so you will need to work with data engineers to ingest the data in the database before you can actually start working. And good luck explaining to other people in the company that your work will be delayed because of technical issues. Now, before moving to the next point, I want to introduce you to one of the best data analytics courses out there that will make you job ready and will give you all the knowledge you need to become a successful data analyst. I'm talking about the data analytics program offered by Career Foundry, which is kindly sponsoring this video. And I agree to partner with them only because I personally know some of the mentors and tutors they have, and I honestly believe this course is excellent. It's definitely not for everyone and you will need to invest more money compared to other data courses, but if you read the reviews and feedbacks, you can easily see why they are the best. Also, if you don't get the job after six months from the completion of the course, you get your money back. You can choose between four months full-time online course or eight months part-time, and you can start no matter your background. Take the examples of Chad, who was a tech recruiter, Elizabeth, who was a barista, and even Gabriel, who was a driver. All of them now are data analysts. They are offering an extra discount if you use the link in the video description, so make sure to check them out for the easiest way to land a job in data. Next point is frustrating limitations. In some companies, there may be three policies and regulations regarding the use of certain softwares and applications due to security concerns. This can include limiting the use of ChatGPT, for example, and the reason for that is that uh, these language models can store the sensitive information that you input in your prompts. And if such information falls into the wrong hands, it can lead to serious consequences such as data breaches and security breaches. Therefore, companies often take precautions to prevent such risks by limiting the use of certain software and applications. This is very frustrating as now you see everyone using these tools to make the job easier. And in some cases, that is simply not an option in the workplace. 
As a data analyst, it's important to be aware of these limitations and work within the company guidelines to ensure the security and confidentiality of the data. Next point is the importance of business knowledge. No matter how technically skilled you are, if you don't have an understanding of the context of your work and the business you're working with, you won't be as effective as you could be. As a data analyst, it's important to understand the goals and objectives of the company as well as the industry as a whole. This will help you to identify key data points and make more informed decisions. For example, if you're working for a uh, retail company, it's important to understand uh, the buying habits of consumers and the factors that influence their decisions. This knowledge will help you to identify trends and patterns in the data and make recommendations that will benefit the company. Without this understanding, you may miss important insights and make recommendations that are not relevant to the business. Therefore, it's important for data analysts to have a solid understanding of the industry they work in, as well as the goals and objectives of the company they work for. And by doing so, you can make more informed decisions and provide better insights to the stakeholders. Other point is repetitive tasks. As a data analyst, you will often find yourself dealing with repetitive tasks, such as managing access to dashboards for various stakeholders. This can be a time-consuming process, but it's essential to ensure that the right people have access to the right data. To streamline this process, you may need to develop scripts or code that automate the task of managing access to dashboards. Or in the worst case, you will need to deal with this type of request manually, because maybe there is no way in the company to make these tasks less painful. And this is, for example, what's happening in my current role, where I get a lot of emails every Every day from people saying they cannot see data in the dashboard and so I need to check manually and for each of these users find the cause of the problem. Becoming a data analyst can be a rewarding and exciting career choice but it's essential to know what you're getting into. Hopefully with this video I gave you a good idea of the ugly aspects of the data analyst role that not many people talk about. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I will leave here in the screen some other videos that you might want to check out and well enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.